Hi, I'm Anna from Confluent. If you're a developer, you've almost certainly stored data as rows and columns in a database table, a method that involves inserts, updates, and deletes. But there are other approaches that provide very different and often preferable trade-offs. One of those is the subject of this course, storing your data as events. Events are immutable. As the saying goes, you can't change the past. And as a result, storing data as a stream of events comes with a number of benefits. More information is stored at a finer level of granularity. There is an exact record of what originally happened to the system. And correctly constructed systems can use events to rewind back in time, should something unfortunate happen and they need to recover. This course covers the what, the why, and the hows of storing data as events. We cover event sourcing and CQRS and why they're useful in certain types of systems. We'll explore the inevitable path to data in motion and the trade-offs you should consider if you decide to go this direction. Take this course to learn more.